Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kalanta David, and today I'm gonna show you some of my post-war catalogs, and I'm gonna pick one out to show you the whole catalog. So stay tuned, ride the rails, and let's dig into it. Welcome. Today I'm gonna show you a line of post-war catalog. I'm eventually gonna make a video of all of these, but it's gonna be a 19. 54, this one right here, distributors, advertising promotions, and everyone locally, Grand Rapids or Pennsylvania, wherever, would have their address basically right down here um, for the catalog. So it's a rare to 5 out of 8, um, one of the books says. So, kind of colored pictures, kind of just blue, but I'll show you. There we go. So, this is made. Uh, pulp paper, that's why it's got an orange tint to it. Um, so yeah, anyways. It's 1900 and 1955, the world's finest trains. It's got a couple of mailing addresses and stuff. And here's a couple engines as well. It's a 610. And there's a switcher down there. It just starts out with the cheapest stuff. So the trans one would have been 695. And different things like that. And if we go to this page. Some of these pictures are actually from other catalogs that went from color to this bluish pulp paper. There's a couple of, it's a 226 I believe, 237 actually. There's a nice scene down here as well. And this is a 2055, that's a nice engine too. This nice little scene on the mountain. And surprisingly enough, this actually doesn't have a lot of prices. It's got some prices. It doesn't have if I have a freight card like right here. It'd uh, be like the 646 engine 2055 is $29.95. Doesn't necessarily say for the freight cards at least as of this moment. It's a nice Santa Fe. This is the 2065, very similar to the um, 665, just a different number basically. And a couple of sets I went with. This one set had a bear loader and a oil and a um, what's it called? Coal dumper. Came in passing set. Milk set right there with milk card. And this is unusual. This is a Milwaukee 2338 where the whole body would have been orange, even though it doesn't show. This whole body is orange, which is an unusual one. But this is kind of black right here on the rest be orange. Basically with that orange, the light would glow through and just want to be realistic. So they changed it pretty much a year after that. The turbine. This is a 646. That's an unusual train as well. Um, excuse me, it's a 665. I that wrong. 665. One's a 665, one's a 646. So it's that one and that one reading wise. Here's a couple cars down here. Such light where it would spin around with the power. Barrel car. There's a nice engine over here as well. Couple freight cars and stuff. The Wabash engine is the one that is the one up here. And that one is a rare engine, but this time it's 3995. And I wish I had made this. This was advertised in another catalog with color, but other than that, this is a blue version of it. And it's got the turntable. I wish Lina would have made a electric turntable, and not like the battery cheaper one they had. Um, scale one would have been great, but they just didn't do that. They kind of did like a battery operated one, of one that was a weaker motor. And this cool picture either way though. And a couple operating cars right here, auto car, high end caboose. Is a Virginia train. A couple of freight cars right down here as well. And the Fairbanks Moor, the Fair, Fairbanks Mall is Virginia. So for $39.95, as of the Fairbanks Lackawanna, so for $39.95 as well. And here's the big Pennsylvania freight set, the famous one. And here's a little map right here which it drove. So that was a nice train at this time as well. The Lionel Charlie was brand new. As was the United States Army 
car and train was new at the time too. This is all brand new in 1955. A couple of free cars, auto cars. The cow car was brand new. That's like the the cows had little little feet on the bottom would move around. It's kind of like the football games that was the vibrating kind of game. So, but line out works. It was very temperamental, but you got to tune in right. It works great. And then there's a couple of free cars over here as well. This is a unique car because one goes down, and when that one goes down, it goes back up, then the other one goes down. So I have one of those that's pretty unique. Get mine up for like 20 bucks. Now again towards the end. So we got the ZW Transformer. Does not say the price of it. KW, TW, and LW. All very nice transformers. A couple cars down here as well, different ones. The milk car, which one line those best ones I made. It's over 1050. As we go, this one is more accessories. Here's a crane. It's on wheels, it never really did move, but you can rig it to where basically pipes can spin or the rod can spin and kind of move forward and back. You have done that without. And that's very cool. I have that too. Some tracks, some more accessories. That's one accessory you want to get the cola in station. You would dump it and it would go back up and refill it. That was pretty cool at the time. And yeah, kind of different things like that. Smoke pellets. And on this side, the old 27 track and old gauge track. A couple layout designs. I like how they have the advertising with the kids and stuff on top. Start your layout small and watch it grow. All the different layouts and stuff. And this side, the father's with the son saying, put a layout on the most fun. So I agree with that. Over here it tells how to build a couple of layouts with tables, some instructions and different things like that. And different things in build, water that you can make. Yeah, a little advertising here in the corner. Anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That is that catalog. So, it is, again, the 1954 Disability Advertising Promotional Scarity 508. So, thank you for watching. You have a great day. Thanks for riding rails. See you later.